Alden Aki here with another Halo 4 campaign mission walkthrough and today I'm going to show you how to get the second of the two weekly campaign challenges for the week of September 8th through the 14th which is Infinity and Beyond which requires the completion of the Infinity mission on legendary difficulty with the Mythic, Tilt, Tough Luck and Thunderstorm skulls activated. So here we go. Uh, in addition to the four skulls needed for the challenge I also turned on Catch to get uh, Prometheans into grenade throwing animations and Grunt Birthday Party Skull to make it easier to see Grunt headshots at distance. And there's actually only one little place where I use that, but at the landing zone primarily. But here we go, starting things off. Now this is a, uh, a skip laden and tactic laden mission, if you will. Uh, I'm using a lot of stuff that the speedrunners use. Uh, not all of them, because some of them are a little hard, tough to pull off. Especially towards the end. I, uh, I really slowed down at the end. But up until we get to the outside in the Manus, most of what I am doing is uh, the latest uh, tactics and techniques for speedrunning. Anyway, first off, we're just following this pass. No, notice I'm not going for any ammo here. Alright, let's jump off the log here. And didn't take any fire from the crawlers. They tend to be territorials, which is a good thing. They're not going to chase me all over the place. Alright, right about here, sprint and jump. And two crawlers will spawn. You don't have to kill them, you just got to get them out of the way. I just happened to get lucky there. Oh, that's a bit of a mistake. Alright, we're trying to jump up this log here. Jump. And jump again. And then jump in this little corner here. And do a crouch jump, holding the crouch. So we get up here, come on up, turn around. Jump back down to this log. Over to this rock. Come right up to this spot here. Aim a little bit left of the light. Jump. Aim a little bit back right towards the light. And jump through. And there we go. And then do a sprint jump here. And on down here. And this has bypassed the uh, spawn trigger for the rest of Rally Point Alpha. This is what I like to call the walk in the park skip. Uh, all we have to do is essentially sprint and walk to the end of Rally Point Alpha without taking on any more of the uh, Covenant. I mean the uh, Prometheans, if you will. So it makes the first part of the mission fairly easy to do and quick. About three minutes or so, if that. I picked up two grenades there, but not to worry. Uh, there are grenades in a, uh, in a case up at the end of Rally Point Alpha. I've got another IFF tag. But as far as I can tell, we're moving into a choke. And we're going to come right up to here. Jump. Oops. Jump here. Jump here. Jump here. Turn left. A little kind of spam jumping there to get through. Alright, go ahead and select the uh, ID tag there, the friend of foe tag. Switch out your AR for the DMR. And we're waiting for the end of Rally Point Alpha so we can skip the cutscene. And thanks to our soldier 313 for that last little Jeez, jump up skip. Friends. Saved us a few seconds on the uh, run. Alright. There we go. The skip the cutscene there. Alright. First thing we need to do, unless I switch back over to the pistol, we want to take out the two crawlers. One's across the way there, the other's sitting on this crooked tree. And if I was a better shot, I'd have taken them out already. Run up to the barricades here so we can get full ammo on the DMR. Across to here. This was not one of my better runs, by the way. Jump here. Okay, jump to here. They're all firing at me. Run up here. I'm losing my shields. I didn't want to go to zoom. And run right into this little alcove right there. Okay. So we bypass all that uh, fighting down below. Now we've got five crawlers and uh, a knight to deal with, and I'm going to take the crawlers out here. Notice I'm strafing a little bit, so I don't zoom, I don't have to zoom in to take them out. There we go. There's four of them. The fifth tends to hang back, like so. And I had some real problems with this knight here. 
The idea is get him grenade throwing animation, get behind him and back smack him and take him out. And for some reason I was having a real problem doing this in this particular run. I missed him again. Notice that I hit him on the right side there. I got to hit him on the spine. So what you want to do is you want to go past him and then just, just past the center because when you smack him you're going to be smacking him from the right side. Okay, we finally got him. Alright, I swapped out my uh, pistol for the light rifle. I'm looking for his auto sentry. There we go, got it. And on to uh, on to the valley here, which is the start of holdout. This is actually a free holdout. Okay, first thing we want to do is throw up an auto sentry and take out that watcher. For some reason, in this mistake ridden or laden run of mine today, I was having a real problem hitting things. Probably because it's Monday. Alright, first, after we take out the watcher, we want to take out the crawlers. I don't got any, uh, yeah, I must have one left there. Alright, the knight will appear. Throw up another auto sentry. And we want to maneuver the knight in such a way that we can do a uh, circle melee on him, which is what I did on the first night, by the way. That was a circle melee. Alright, get him throwing grenades. He goes in animations, sprint past him, just past the middle of his back, and then smack him, and down he goes. Alright, getting full ammo on the DMR, and oops, I need to find that light rifle so I get full ammo there. There we go. Now let's take out the several crawlers that still remain. Looks like all my AI buddies have bit the dust. I think there's two more up here. One right there, usually hides right behind those containers and there's one on the right. If this were a speed run I wouldn't worry about him. Alright. Come on Mr. Crawler, where are you? I noticed that I got full ammo on the DMR as I pass that rock. There we go. Alright. Now what we're going to do is we're going to advance to a point to get the next wave to appear. And as soon as they start to spawn, we'll immediately turn around and haul it back to the sandbags here. I'll swap out the uh, DMR for the railgun. And this cover. is how we take out the, uh, the turrets. Hit them with a the railgun shot, and then three shots from the DMR, and they're toast. Same thing here, even with tilt on. And mythic. Boom, that's a new, new combo for the uh, turrets. Alright. Railgun's done its job. Now next up we want to take out the two watchers that are out there. Again, this is another one of my uh, I almost blew it moments. The idea is to catch one stationary and put enough headshots into it so it's really weakened so as it starts to move you can easily take it out. And of course, he just moved out of range. I don't want to get too close because that knight will start throwing grenades at me. And of course, the crawlers will start firing. Yep, he's already firing at me. Got to be a little careful here because I'm running out of ammo, darn it. There we go, finally. Alright. And there's the second one came back to take care of the knight. And we got him because his shields were weak. Let's go up here and throw up an uh, auto sentry. We want to get everybody's attention on that auto sentry. I'm looking around for that, that knight. I'm not quite sure where he's at. But. All right, off we go. We're going to come up the right side here. Notice that I am saving as much sprint as I can. Come up the right side, go to the door and turn around, and a knight will spawn right there. Take care of him. And again, I had a real problem in this run with this particular knight because he decided to come up at, at me from the left side and there's all kinds of crap going on. Oh, I got too close to him and then he tried to melee me, so I'm getting over here. I'm going to try to come back to him. Here he comes. Might as well take out crawlers while I'm at it. 
Throwing grenades, spin around. I totally missed him. I cannot believe that. The only thing this shows you is that you can make mistakes and survive. Alright, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Here he is. Let's try again. Same position. Can't even grenade throw an animation. Sprint past him. Went around just to the left of center and back smack him. Okay, got him that time. Alright, I think we got two more crawlers out here to deal with. Okay, now I want to make sure I got full ammo here. Eh, I can't see any light rifles, darn it. Well, I think 102 out of 108 is pretty good. Alright. Crap. It's over on the other sandbag, knucklehead. All the way over here on the right is where the DMR is. There we go. Alright, now we're in holdout just because uh, Cortana says holdout. And we're going to be doing some spawn killing here. And first off, we want to run right down here to right beyond where these two paths diverge, right there. Alright. Get him with an animation. Just hold to press the B key and hold it. Alright. Go ahead and back smack that guy. And we need to take out one crawler. And the third knight will appear right here. And go ahead, aim up and back smack. Step forward and back smack. Alright, that takes out the first three knights in the holdout. And then haul it back towards this big old uh, tree trunk here that's fallen all the way across the valley. We will be using this area as a base of operations. And we've got about 11 or 12 crawlers we have to deal with. And we want to get down to three. Uh, before we set ourselves up for the next uh, set of knights to spawn kill. Or actually, yeah. Actually, we'll do one, and then we're going to have to position ourselves to take out a watcher. Again, I am just a terrible shot today. Alright. We'll take out about six or seven and start counting. That was the other thing in this particular run. I kind of lost count. Normally take these guys out a lot faster. Okay, let's see how many we got left over here. Right, I'm kind of looking around. It looks like three over there on the left. And there's one right there. Actually, it wound up being four, which I, there's one hiding somewhere I didn't see. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll sh show you what happens here momentarily. All right, come back down here, get full ammo on the DMR, head on, uh, head on back up, and we want to position ourselves. All right, I just took two out. All right, right about there, so we can we can uh, assassinate or backsmack that knight when he appears, and then head back down here. There's three more crawlers that are going to come out, and depending on how many of the crawlers we took out before. We're either going to have to take out two or three to get a watcher to spawn down by the sandbags. Which we want to take out right away with the light rifle. Okay, there's one. Notice how I'm, I'm, I'm looking back at the sandbags every time I take one out. There's two. Alright, looks like I'm going to have to take out three. Just make sure. Yep. Hasn't spawned yet. Notice I'm keeping myself positioned right here. Okay, he's got to be coming now. Switch back over to light rifle and take him out as quickly as possible before he can spawn more crawlers. Alright, and now we got two more knights to deal with along with these two crawlers. Take that guy out right there. And the other one's up above me, so I want to take out this crawler, I mean this knight when he spawns. Boom. And then head on down to this uh, rock right here, right up to the edge of it. The last knight's going to spawn right in front of me. Time. Boom, take him out, and that takes care of all the knights. And we just got this one crawler up here to take out. Alright. Good, I got full ammo on my light rifle, full ammo on the DMR. Now there's three more crawlers coming up from below the sandbags, but I'm not worried about them because uh, I can get through this doorway before they get up here. And that's it, that's holdout. 
On to the landing zone. Or the LZ. Now with Mythic and Tilt on, the only way we can take out the Knights effectively is by the Circle Melee. And we've got uh, four of them to deal with, I believe. Four or five. Anyway, first thing we want to do is we want to take out the cubbies that are nearby. And there's, a couple, and there's a couple of grunts down here, at least one of them which has a needler we want to be very careful with. And then the uh, shield jackal is going to appear. Make sure not to get EMP there. Try to hit him in the hands. And take him with a headshot. And I noticed a watcher out there. I want to get that watcher out of there. Over to the light rifle, that's why we brought the light rifle along. Take out the watcher. This is a good weapon to do that. And here I am cussing a little bit to myself because I'm such a terrible shot today. There we go. Finally got him. All right. Now the idea here is to get as many of the cubbies out as possible. Um, as soon as Cortana says something, uh, and I can't even remember what she said, but what we want to do is get the, uh, when we're down to two of these guys, she says, I'm shocked, and we want to get rid of the rest of them, uh, because what that will do is we'll bring a knight up early. Uh, it also initiates the next wave. See how like, quickly that knight came up? we got a phantom coming in, and we want to get this knight taken care of, like so, before that phantom comes. Uh, uh, positions itself where it can take me out with the uh, main gun. Notice the fire behind me. That was the Phantom's main gun there. So if you can get all of the uh, existing uh, first wave cubbies out of the way, that knight will come up early and you can take him out with a circle melee. And that's really important because sometimes what they will do is if you don't do that, they will start coming up in pairs and threes sometimes and it makes it extremely difficult to take them out and obviously a lot longer. All right, I'm cleaning out the cubbies. Nice. When we get down to one or two cubbies left, the knights will come up. And this run, thank God, they came up. One of, here comes one here. Again, I'm going to be doing a circle melee. All right, there's two knights down. Two down and I believe two to go. And this third night turned out to be a pain in the butt. I'm not aiming up high enough or far enough left. If you miss him, get the heck out of Dodge. Just get away from him. Get back up in the cave. There's an entrance a little bit further down to the right where you can come back in as well. I'm just firing at him to get his attention. Let's try again. Notice how he goes in animation. And, God, I missed him again. This time, this is where I come into the other, other little entrance way back to the cave. All right, let's try, try again. Like I said, this run is laden with mistakes. Come on. Come on, Mr. Knight. Here he comes. There we go. Finally got just past center. And took him out with a assassination animation. All right, now we're down to probably just the up. Oh. Okay, we had one shielded jackal out there, and I think that's it, except for the last night. The uh, pelican's going to come in. All right. Throwing up an auto sentry there to keep the uh, knight busy while the uh, pelican comes in. And I'm going to work my way up underneath the ramp, or underneath the pelican actually, and that will trigger the end of Rally Point Bravo. But just keep moving so you don't get tagged. You don't get tagged with a uh, pulse grenade while you're waiting for the end of Rally Point Alpha. Now here we are starting with Rally Point Charlie, which is the big tank battle, which we're going to skip. Again, I was having some problems here, but notice I'm running up to this rock up here, that second rock. I'm going to jump up on top of the rock. For some reason, 
I didn't make a good jump there. Thank God I could get back to it. I thought I was done for. Okay, jump up on this little beam here. Position yourself right up on the top of it. Do a sprint jump. You want to get far across, far enough across where we land down on that uh, destroyed ship there. And then follow this uh, route here. Down to here. Turn a little left. Come down into here. If you want to practice this, you can go right to uh, Rally Point Charlie uh, for the mission, and it'll take you right to uh, where I come out of the Pelican and sprint left. All right, now what we've done here is we've bypassed a spawn trigger so that we don't have to take on any of the cubbies that we would have taken on here, including those in the sniper tower, which were fuel rod grunts. And there's a couple of brace up here and some ghosts and all kinds of cubbies anyway. Uh, we don't have to take any of them on until we get up real close to the infinity. And instead of using the tank to come on board the infinity, we're going to use this wraith right here. Now with uh, tilt on, it actually gives me extra shielding as well as the enemy. When they talk about damage tables modified, that just means extra shielding. Uh, we're just following this path here. The fire behind me was a wraith coming in with its main gun, but I wasn't worried about it at all because it, it tends to never hit me. Alright, I'm making sure I got full boost right about here and I'm just going to boost by everybody, rend and pull alike, and get to the elevator. Took a little damage there, but not much. Thanks to Tilt. Alright, now we'll use the uh, Wraith to take out all the cubbies up here. And we've got a couple leads, a couple of hunters, we've got FRG grunts, we've got everything going on here. And notice I'm using that uh, Mongoose platform as cover. Really want to get that FRG grunt out of there. There's, there's actually a couple of them, one of them's hanging back. Next up, we want to take out the uh, hunters. At least one of them, anyway. Usually, when uh, when they take fire, they start moving back. This one hunter is being fairly persistent up here, which surprised me a little bit. I thought he'd start moving back. See, both of them are. But again, as long as you use the uh, as platform here for the uh, mongoose as cover, we shouldn't be taking any direct fire. All right. I believe I got the first. Uh, First uh, hunters down. I got a. I got. Uh, oh, there is that fuel rod grunt. Well, he caught a wing too. That's the guy you want to take out first. Now let's focus on the uh, hunter. I mean the uh, elite. This a hunter's gone all the way back down to the that little uh, catwalk there. Now with this hunter, I mean this elite, he tends to jump around a lot and you almost have to predict which way he's going to jump and fire in that direction like that to get his shields to flare. I think I just popped him. My gunner finally decided to jump in. And the gunner actually took out the elite. Okay, now we got a hunter. Got the second hunter and some uh, grunts and shielded jackals down there on the left and what we don't want to do is to get too close to the shielded jackal so they can EMP the wraith and let the hunter take us out. That's why I'm hanging back here. Oh yeah, he's still hanging around down there by that catwalk. So just keep firing at him, staying back, you know. I think I dropped him, dropped him with some of his armor there. Hang back from from that uh, shielded jackal there. We just don't want to get EMP. Now this particular area of the mission. Oh, I just got it good. Sometimes it goes pretty quickly. Sometimes it's uh, 
It takes a while. It depends on how much they're jumping around and how good a shot. Darn, I thought I got that guy. I oh, got him now. Okay. I think I got a grunt or two up here on the left side. My gunner's telling me where he's at. There we go. As soon as we get all the cubbies out of the way, Captain Del Rio appears and goes through this very verbose speech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This drives speedrunners nuts. Nothing you can do about it. data from the ship's mainframes as we speak. Can we break the connection? Main point of contact from the ship's upper hall. And we got to fight our way through the, through the ship a little bit more to get to the outside. And there is a nice skip. Take it. Uh, You'll need the extra fire. Where we can run past everybody, but uh, there's a bunch of grunts in the elevator that sometimes uh, they'll all flash grenades. So it, there is some uh, hazard to that. So I decided to take the slower, safer route here. All right, I activated the Manus. Uh, got full ammo on the rockets. Same thing is true on the outside. There is an approach that will shave m minutes off of the uh, final holdout battle, but it is hazardous. It requires taking at least three Banshees out of the air. So I've decided to uh, demonstrate the safer approach. in this particular run as well, but we'll get to that momentarily here. First thing we want to do is we want to take out the grunts and the knights that up here. Actually, out everybody out of this corridor. Way in the back there, there is a uh, turret. That is, that is a fuel ride grunt. So a couple of knights will spawn and we'll take them out. Now, if you start if you lose your shields there and you get down to, to the red, for example, don't hesitate in backing up and letting those shields recharge. Even with the double health on uh, Mythic, uh, these guys are pretty accurate and they will uh, drop the shields on the uh, Manus and your own personal shields as well. Okay, I think that takes care of everybody here. So we're just going to uh, temporarily jump out of the Manus and head up to this catwalk. And there are two uh, turrets, and around each turret uh, there are two FRG grunts. I actually feel like cannon grunts. Oh, they're... Okay, and actually that, that guy took out the, uh, the turrets. Okay, so for the next bit, here we'll take out the turret first. And then take out the grunts. There's one. Where are you, grunt number two? Oh, there goes, there's two. Okay, that takes care of those guys. That makes uh, going down this next corridor a lot simpler and safer. But even so, we've got to take out a lot of Coveys and uh, Prometheans. I'll go ahead and take out the Watcher first. Take out the Watcher for the Knights, because if you, if you don't, the Watcher will try to respawn the Knights. They get really nasty after they respawn. takes care of the first two knights. Again, we don't want to get too close to the uh, shielded jackals because of that very reason right there. We get EMP and they keep peppering us and uh, dropping our shields even more. So that was my mistake. I should have stayed back a little bit further. All right, as we advance up here, you should see another knight spawn right there. me to see if anything spawned behind me there. What I forgot to do first 
and we'll see what happens, the consequence of it. But right around the corner there, there is a watcher, and I should have taken him out first. Chief, we can't let the Didact get access to Infinity's data store. Let's get topside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I took out that turret. And notice that the watcher comes flying over here to respawn that knight, but I, I was able to take him out before he was able to do so. Forgot all about him. Alright, I got a couple of turrets up here as well. A couple of uh, shielded jackals down here, around the corner. Again, I do not want to get EMP, so I'm being very careful here. Alright, that's turret number one. Turret number two is way in the back there. Took care of that. And then we've got grunts and shielded jackals and a knight or two up here on the upper ramp. Just carefully taking them out. I do have a speed run of Infinity. Uh, where I bypass all this, anybody's interested in seeing that. I believe I put that in my speedruns playlist. If not, it's it's in my uh, Mythic Runs playlist. That was with all skulls on. I'm losing shields here, I'm backing up. Oh, look out. That was a fuel rod grunt. There is at least one up there. Yep, there he is. Be very careful of him. I'm sure we get him taken care of. I think I did because I just saw a fuel rod uh, shot go wild. Nope. There's another one. Oh, I never got the first one. Uh, again, being very careful here. There we go. if I advance up here a little ways, two more knights are going to spawn. Yep, there they are. Go ahead and fire rockets at them and then drop their shields and then, uh, then the guns will take them out. Okay. <clears throat> and now there's on the other side of uh, this area here, there are there is a turret starting off. I believe there's at least one or two more shielded jackals, maybe a fuel rod grunt. We've got to be a little careful about. And way down there by the elevator doors is another uh, uh, another turret. I think I just took out. Oh, yep, yeah, there's a grunt. Throwing grenades at me. All right, two of them. Okay, that takes care of them. I believe I got everybody. Oh, nope. Okay. Not doing All right. Any good down here the now, if I had run the skip and run by everybody, I would have had to have jumped down here and run into the elevator and taken out all these grunts with melees. And, uh, which is fine if, uh, if uh, Black Eye is on, because every time you melee one of these guys, you get your shields back. But you have to be a little careful without Black Eye on, ironically. Because every once in a while, one, at least one of them will go suicidal. Or fire up, or at least fire up a plasma grenade, and if you're in the vicinity, you're toast. So, that's why I chose the safer route. One of the reasons I chose the safer option here. Okay, we're on our way to the outside. Again, there is a quicker way to do this that requires more risk, which requires to go out to the left. See the jammers. Three of them. Shoot them down. 
but there's a there are there is a squad or two of coveys already on the on the platform out here and we want to take them out first be very careful because there are uh, fuel ride grunts involved here this is the one firing at me from the left side oh and I did not want to get EMP'd again I've, I'm making mistakes on this run and somehow geez again and I'm still surviving Thank goodness. I got that fuel ride grunt taken care of before I got EMP. Now what I'm trying to there are uh, jammers out there. What I'm trying to do is clean up the uh, coveys that are out here first before I take out the jammers. Because as soon as I start taking out jammers... Ooh, look out! As soon as I start taking out jammers, uh, more coveys are going to drop in. Including possibly cubbies and banshees. So again, I'm being very careful here not to take out the jammers yet until I've cleaned up all the cubbies that are still that are actually here. I think that one elite just trying to hide behind that carton there. Now it's time to take out the jammers. Jammer number one, jammer number two, jammer, jammer number three, and then haul it over to this two. left gun emplacement here. That's We're going to use this as, as cover as much as we can. Now what's going to happen is there's going to be several phantoms dropping in. And what we want to do, is, especially the ones that drop in by this, uh, where I'm looking here, we want to take out their main guns with rockets guns if we can. That keeps them their main gun from firing on us. Which is really important. See I'm getting fired on from the other side by one of the gunners from the Phantom. Yeah right there that's Phantom dropping in right here. So I'm trying to take cover as best as I can. Oh my goodness, there's a fuel ride right over there. Get rid of him. Alright, I'm in trouble now. Just got EMP'd. I'm getting fired at. Smoking, so I decided that my shields are down. I decided I'm going to haul it up here and grab this other Manus. That's a handy thing to know that that guy's up there, full shields. And while I'm running up there, my shields come back. guys are not easy to take out uh, with Mythic and Tilvon, for sure. Again, I'm using the gun as cover. There's another, there's another uh, Phantom coming in because I can, I can, I saw his main guns firing behind me. Okay, got him. Let's see what we got over here. Oh yeah, he dropped off the full right front, of course. Why get that little lag there? Okay, I don't know if there's any more phantoms coming in, but I think I think that's all of the phantoms, and the uh, the rest of it is just taking out these uh, the cubbies that have been dropped off, and I'm finally getting some help from the defense guns here. I think we're past the critical point. I don't see anybody over here. I don't see anybody over here. Whoops! Here comes another fan. Drop that main gun. I was wrong. There was one more fan coming in. But taking out that main gun makes life a lot easier. Oh, there's another phantom over there, too. Okay, that must be the last wave. It's been a while since I've done this mission, so I kind of lost count there. But again, using this particular gun as a, as a cover, we can take these guys out. So, 
really what we want to do is for the phantoms that were, were dropped coming in behind me, to drop off uh, cubbies, we want to take out their main gun with rockets. That keeps the fire, keeps them from firing on me. And then back and forth around the gun to take out cubbies. And also knowing that there is an extra manis over here on that was over here on the left, when I got in real trouble, I just jumped out of my the manis that I had and ran over to the grab the fresh one. Alright, I think we're just about done. Okay, yeah, when uh, when Cortana says that's how it's done, that tells me that we're down to zero or one cubbies on the deck left. And we've got to uh, manually fire up the uh, uh, the Mac cannon here. Being a little careful, I'm gonna haul it over here and fire up the, the uh, Mac controls, activate the Mac cannon, and haul it back to the Manus. Because there's always possibility of a Banshee lurking around here somewhere. That's what I'm looking for now. And I thought, well, okay, in this run there weren't any Banshees, and guess what? I'm getting fired on right there. Out of nowhere was that Banshee. Couldn't believe it. But he's taken care of. So you just got to be a little careful here at the end. You want to get all the way to the end and get taken out by a Banshee. But that's it. That's the Infinity and Beyond Weekly Campaign Challenge for September 8th to the 14th. Here are the end of Mission Symbols, followed by the challenge popping. I do hope this helps you in your quest for this challenge. This is Aldenaki signing off. Take care, everybody.